what's up guys this is manik and in this video i'm going to review the paranoid rom for me too and this is a requested video by my subscriber and uh, he's saying that please review this rom and i find this finally because on the xda you won't be getting any updated link of this rom so i find it finally the latest version of it it is not the 7.3 if you know about the if you following the paranoid uh, developing it is not the latest version but it is the updated version little bit updated you can see 7.2.2 so it is updated so no problem with that now um, i'm not confirmed with uh, the security patch of this rom because there's no way they have written it you can see no security patch option so i'm not confirm about the security patch but if you leave the security patch system and all the blah blah things this rom is amazing comes with the all the features of paranoid except one which is the pi control there is an option of pi control uh, i don't know the uh, it is not enabled maybe or maybe some due to some bugs it is not working right now but yes you get the soft keys you can see on screen buttons with them which i'm really liking it because it is very it comes very easy if you are recording a video or you are working um or if you like the on screen button simply i would say if you like the on screen button so it's amazing thing because a lot of rom developers are not giving the on screen button due to some issues so now you getting getting the on screen button so it's a good thing now you getting all the options of paranoid rom like color theme engine in the display option you can see color theme engine um i have already review this feature on the next uh, next experience rom it has same because the feature has been taken from paranoid rom and uh, also the other features like paranoid application paranoid browser paranoid uh, music player messenger and other stuff camera camera is the google normal camera because developer hasn't updated right now when he going to update it i'll be making another video for it because it is a very mid version so we won't be getting much features on it but yes you get the gallery of the paranoid it is a snapdragon gallery it is not specific gallery for paranoid and other thing which i like the most that it supports the google assistant but it has the same problem than any other custom rom i am getting that when we press the buttons it is not working so i don't know but i'm right now i'm using the google now launcher it is not the stock launcher we get on the paranoid you get the some launcher 3 on it i don't like launcher 3 much and if you are thinking this rom is lagging so it's not lagging i'm recording my screen so that's why it's lagging and also my phone is only 1 gb ram so i won't be expecting much speed from this now other thing if i come it comes for comes with the three gestures option camera double tap to sleep and three finger swipe to take a screenshot and uh, also the proximate sensor is working uh, fine and volti is working it's a volt it's a volti centric um, rom and also rom is pretty smooth and also there is no pixel icon because i don't like pixel round icons i like simple nexus like icons so thumbs up for that and uh, i'm really liking the rom i haven't used it much but uh, i would say that battery is okay uh, not so good as i expected and uh, i have to use it for almost two three days and i'm going to put a full review of it so that's it in the video please give a thumbs up if you like this video and the rom links are in the description if you like this rom or if you like this videos so you can just download it from the description and install it flash it and i'm just enjoy the rom also do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and so thanks for watching this is manik and i'm signing off and have a great day